Doug Tigar was a large presence with his huge laugh, stentorian voice, and vast knowledge of so many topics, including technology, mathematics, literature, music, film, dance, cuisine, wine, and politics. He knew everything about so many topics. He was always laughing at the absurdity of life and human foibles, while at the same time advocating for principles of justice and decency. I want to tell you about a side of Doug Tigar that people do not always recognize. I do not believe I have ever heard anyone say, Doug Tigar, feminist icon. But he was one of those people whose fundamental decency caused him to be fair, to view everyone through a lens of our own essential humanity. And when you look at who he advised, Alma Whitten and Don Song and many others, there is credit due. He was woke before woke awakened. Doug is an extremely intelligent person and cared deeply about his students in his own way. I still vividly remember how Doug helped me with my first presentation at the IEEE Security and Privacy Symposium. When I was doing a dry run and it wasn't going well, he literally went up to the podium and started delivering the presentation. He waved his hands animatedly while projecting his strong and energetic voice, showing me how to give a lively talk. Doug has been hugely influential in my life. It is sad to lose him. His legacy will be continued. Doug brought a great deal of uh, really joie de vivre into his cybersecurity research, whether he was working on uh, new kinds of passwords with video, uh, with video images, or learning to attack learning algorithms. Uh, you know, he's left a big mark on the cybersecurity community at Berkeley and uh, certainly worldwide. We'll miss him very much. And of course, though, we'll have all these memories to fall back on. I first met Doug when he came out to Berkeley to give his job talk, uh, where he described his work on digital cash. And I remember uh, very vividly his presentation where he was describing the properties um, that you might want from digital cash. And he asked for a volunteer from the audience to participate in a demonstration. And someone volunteered and he asked them to borrow a $20 bill and he took the $20 bill and then he tore it up and absolutely destroyed this poor volunteer's $20 bill and then said, and that's why atomicity is important. Doug was a consistent supporter of his female colleagues in computing. Although he would claim human nature is selfish, Doug himself was quite generous in this support. Doug often promoted the work of others but always deflected praise about his own considerable accomplishments. Doug cared a great deal about a great many things, including the role of computing in society and in the institution of UC Berkeley and academia, academia generally. We'll all miss him. Doug Tigar was a special man. In the presence of Doug, there was never a dull moment. With a tremendous amount of knowledge on everything and everyone, Conversations with Doug were always enriching. His sense of humor kept the discussion lively and entertaining. Thanks to Doug's encouragement and guidance through the admission process, I applied for a PhD and became his student at CMU. Doug not only provided advice on technical matters, but he also taught me many useful aspects on the entire spectrum of academic life, which I'm still applying today. Besides academics, I learned much about fine dining, the latest gadgets and technologies, expert witness cases, how to order books, and how not to use early navigation systems in cars. Doug, you touched and enriched many lives with your unique approach. We miss you. When I was in grad school, I had my first child, Addie Camp. The entire time I was there, I was the only pregnant student I knew. Doug used his own restricted funds to provide for me an entire summer of maternity leave. Grad students still do not have this. He was immensely supportive. He included me in events and supported me. And then when I graduated, he laughingly but kindly told me that he had not thought I could do it but he never showed a moment of doubt to me until not only after defense, but after commitment, 
and then his amusement was at his own surprise. And I'm one of many people whose lives have changed. I've had the opportunity to pay this forward. And I told my grad student who to thank for setting such a standard. Apparently, this confused him immensely. Why would someone thank him for setting an incredibly high bar? Because what would anyone else do? Why is that something to admire? Because doing the best was quintessentially Doug, and he just could not imagine it being any other way. So why would he be thanked? And I'm sorry I cannot say this to him. And I know that each of us has had help in reaching our current professional status. So please take a moment to thank the person who helped you in these hard times with a kind word. Did they help you? Did they encourage you? Did they give you guidance or support? Tell the people who are still here to hear it. And Doug, we miss you. You were an exceptional, excellent, and kind person.